In this video guide I'll be showing you how to install Windows 8 from scratch. If you have any data on your hard drive it is a good idea to back up your data now as any data you have will be wiped out during this installation process. The first thing you need to do is turn on your PC and place your Windows 8 DVD in your DVD ROM drive. If your first boot device is set to DVD ROM drive then the installation process will begin automatically. However if it's set to boot from C drive or your hard drive then it will skip the DVD in which case you need to keep an eye on your startup screen and then you will be given instructions on how to select your boot menu. For example on my screen you can see it says press escape for boot menu. So press your appropriate key to enter the boot menu and then you need to select the DVD-ROM as the boot drive. As the installation process begins you will see a new Windows logo and a rotating progress bar at the bottom and then eventually you'll end up in this Windows setup screen. From this screen you will select your language, time and currency and the keyboard or input method. So make your selection and then press next. I'm going to choose English United Kingdom. Keyboard or input method will also be selected as United Kingdom and then finally I will press next. In this screen basically you have two options. You can click install now or repair your computer. But since we're doing a clean fresh installation I'm going to click install now. So here you will see setup is starting. In this screen you need to enter your product key that came with your Windows 8. So I'm going to go ahead and type my product key. Once you have typed your product key correctly, press next. In this screen you get the license terms. So tick I accept the license terms and then click next. Now here you'll get the option to choose the type of installation you want to do. It says which type of installation do you want? Upgrade. Install Windows and keep files, settings and applications. Or custom. Install Windows only. Advanced. Since we are doing a clean install, I'm going to select custom. Install Windows only. Now from here you need to select where you want to install Windows. Since I have only one hard drive, as you can see it's listed here, drive 0 unallocated space 60 gigabyte. So I can just choose this drive and then click next but for the sake of demonstration I'm going to click on drive options then new and then I'm going to create another partition so I'm going to type 30,000 megabyte and then click apply and that will create another partition which will be 30 gigabyte so here you get a dialog box pop up which says to ensure that all Windows features work correctly, Windows might create additional partitions or system files. Just click OK. So now we have created our partition of 30 gigabyte. As you can see, it's listed here as 29 gigabyte and primary partition. And this is the system reserve partition which Windows 8 creates. So you don't have to worry about that. Basically 
it puts various system file on this drive but this drive is normally hidden and you, you cannot see it from uh, Windows 8 and here you have drive 0 unallocated space we're going to leave it unallocated and basically we can format it as a drive after Windows 8 has been fully set up so select the drive 0 partition 2 and click next at this stage Windows starts copying files to your hard drive as you can see the progress bar is going up and basically this process will take a while so depending on your system specification it can take somewhere between 15 minutes to half an hour so now is a good time to make yourself a cup of tea or a coffee So once Windows has finished copying all the necessary files, it will automatically restart. This time Windows 8 reboots again, but rather than booting up from the DVD, it is actually booting from your hard drive. You can see a progress bar at the bottom while it reboots. and then finally you're in this screen from here you need to select a PC name I'm going to choose my PC name build easy PC and then press next in this screen you have two options you can use the express setting or customize your PC I'm going to choose use express settings from this screen you can sign in using a Microsoft account if you have one or you can sign in without a Microsoft account since I don't want to sign in using a Microsoft account I'm going to choose sign in without Microsoft account here you have two options you can either sign in using a Microsoft account or create a local account I'm going to create a local account by clicking local account from this screen you can choose your username password and your password hint I'm going to choose build easy PC user as my username and choose my password and my password hint and then click finish Windows finalizes the setup and then you get this welcome screen It gives you a quick demonstration on how to use the various features of Windows 8. For example, moving the mouse cursor towards the right hand side will bring up the charms bar. Finally you get this message, we are getting your PC ready. This will take a few minutes. Installing apps and then eventually you will come to this unfamiliar looking screen. This is known as the Metro user interface. It basically replaces Windows desktop and the familiar start menu. As you can see there are no icons. Icons are basically replaced by these tiles which are also live. As you can see it brings live information on various tiles and you can click any of these tiles to launch the application. At this stage the installation process is finished. We just need to make sure that all the drivers have been installed correctly 
If not, we need to install the necessary device drivers. Click on the desktop tile and then move your mouse towards the bottom right hand side. That will bring up the charms bar. Then click on settings and then control panel. And then click on system and security. System. And then device manager. From here you can see all the drivers that has been installed and any drivers that has not been installed. As you can see there is a yellow exclamation mark next to the base system device which means the driver for this device has not been installed. So to install this driver right mouse click and then select update driver software now you'll be given an option how do you want to search for your driver search automatically for updated driver software or browse my computer for the driver software so if you downloaded the driver from the manufacturer's website you can just browse to my computer and select the files alternatively you can search online and see if Windows 8 can find the drivers for you automatically. Once you have finished installing all the drivers, the device manager should look like this. There should not be any yellow exclamation mark. Here you will notice it says Windows is not activated. So to activate Windows, click on View Details in Windows Activation and then you will be given an option to activate Windows. So just click Activate Windows Online and then Windows will be fully activated and ready for use. That's pretty much it. All the drivers have been installed and Windows 8 setup is fully complete.